it's Wendy Johnson with Drive Across Texas and we are out here in Grapeland, Texas and we're out here at Salmon Lake Park. And it's a really cool place. They have cabins to rent, which are actually old houses that have been redone. They're amazing. They have RV spaces. They have a lake. You can even just come in for the day. And they have this great huge slide. Check these kids out. They're having a blast over there. It's so much fun. There's a playground. There's like a little store where you can get stuff if you need it or whatever. It's a great little place. So y'all check it out. Salmon Lake Park. And stay tuned because we're going to tell you the story. Bye, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Wendy with Drive Across Texas and we're down here in Salmon Lake Park and I'm so excited. In Grapeland, Texas, I'm here with the owner, David Powers, and one of his little ones. <laughs> and he's gonna tell us the story about this amazing little gym in Texas that we have found. Tell us a little bit about it. It's freestyle. Just talk it, just conversation. Right. This, is really, this is really the vision of one man, Floyd Salmon. He put this lake in to water his cattle, but he also had a house moving business and people were always wanting to get rid of old buildings off their property, yeah. and they would give them to him. And so he moved them out here and, and started renting these cabins out. And that was in the 70s. And then a bluegrass festival came here. In fact, there's a stage in a, an amphitheater over there. It's mm -hmm. the biggest outdoor bluegrass event in Texas. You guys have a lot of different festivals and events that come here. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, our, our biggest event is twice a year we have a bluegrass festival. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's the biggest bluegrass festival, outdoor bluegrass festival in Texas. And then we also have a homeschool event called a East Texas Mini Shindig. That's where homeschool families come out here and camp together and play volleyball. We do historic dancing and we have challenges for the kids. We also have a country western music festival mm -hmm. on the 4th of July when we have the uh, a professional fireworks show. Oh, nice. it, it, was, it was really nice this last year. We have a Russian music fest twice a year. That's now, interesting. It, it was just, it was, they, they come out here and they put up all these signs in Russian and they all speak Russian and I have no idea what's going on. But, <laughs> but That's very unique. <laughs> they're, they're very nice though, they're very nice people. And we have a blues festival, mm -hmm. which this is our first blues festival. and. Some of the blues artists came out here and they were very cool. Uh, you know, I was, I was amazed. I got a lot of hugs. <laughs> yeah, very friendly group. <laughs> a very friendly group. <laughs> and then we have another, we have a land at the lake. It's a car show. Oh, wow. It, it's a big custom car and antique car show. There's always something going on around here. That building over there, the schoolhouse, which is currently burnt. <gasps> is that what that is? It, it, that was the schoolhouse for Elkhart in 1920, and before that it was a marine barracks. Oh, wow. And so, it, but we, we're going to move it and restore it. And, and that's the story, all these buildings are upward of 100 years old out here. He's also got a little train back there, mm -hmm. a, a, the coolest little train. And so each of the buildings, whenever he brought them in, he restored them. But they're, they're still like, like the one that we're staying in, it's very rustic. It's like everything in there is kind of either hand honed or, you know, like, I mean, it's not like he went down to Home Depot and brought in stuff, no. you know. He was a collector. He would salvage old barn wood. In mm -hmm. fact, we still have buildings and buildings out here of barn wood. And so whenever we restore one, we use the old wood. So the wood that's in the cabin is also 100 years old. I might cut it a little to get it to fit, but it's all the original wood. So, and you have, how many kiddos do you have? I have nine You have kids. nine kiddos. And they're like an integral part of what you guys do out here. I, I couldn't do it without them. It's, it's just too much work. About two years ago, I'm, we homeschool and we were out here with several other homeschool families, large families like mine, and we were sitting around the campfire and we, we just kicked around the idea of what if we all went in together and bought this park because it's a huge amount of maintenance. It's mowing and buildings and and pretty much everybody decided it was impossible. We just There's no <laughs> way we can do it. But my wife stayed in contact with Floyd Salmon's daughters uh -huh. through the winter and then Floyd passed away in February and the daughters were ready to sell and so we got the park in May, two weeks before the Bluegrass Festival. So we'd never had a park before. I'm a machinist by trade and so we get the park, we sign the papers and they go, okay, in two weeks there's a Bluegrass Festival, 300 RVs are gonna show up. And so. you have to do that because it's the largest in Texas. <laughs> That's right, and so the kids and I, we were running around like ants around this place, <laughs> picking up trash, mowing grass, it was crazy. And so now, what a story. 
So now my kids, they run the, they run the equipment, they help remodel cabins. It, it's, we all work together as a family. I love that. I love that. It, it's just, it is an amazing place, y'all. It, it's like one of those little gems. Whenever we first like booked out here to come to the Peanut Festival, I had no idea. It's been busy. I hadn't really taken the time to look it up. I just knew where it was, and I thought, oh, okay, it has an RV park. Probably has those like you know pre-made cabins. We pulled in, and I'm just like, what? So the cabin that we're at is actually on the lake that he built. It's amazing, and there's this huge slide. So I'm I'm like texting my kids, going, oh, you're missing out, <laughs> you know. So there you have it, folks. On your next drive across Texas, you're headed out through East Texas. Check out. Salmon Lake Park because they probably have something going on that you want to get involved in. But if not, it's just a great place to bring your kids to go swimming, to go camping, build a fire. They have a big fire pit. It's just, it's a great time. So check out David and Leah Powers and meet their kiddos, see what they got going on here. It's so worth your drive across Texas. Y'all stay tuned. Bye y'all.